What do you got for press conference, buddy? All right, so we had previously talked about the Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake beef. Now, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to keep talking about this. Right. Because it, I'll, I'll, I'll keep everybody updated, but we're not going to keep reacting to it. Yeah, okay. So, basically, we can watch this one if you want to. I can kind of just give the rundown. It's really up to you. Okay. So, as you know, uh, Kendrick dissed Drake, mm-hmm. dissed J. Cole. Since then, uh, it was pretty quick. Uh, J. Cole responded. Mm-hmm. Dropped a diss track on Kendrick called Seven Minute Drill. Oh. And now, everybody, if you've ever met a Kendrick, or not a Kendrick, a J. Cole, J. Cole fan, mm-hmm. you know that they are always like, he's the best. Nobody can touch him lyrically. This, that, or the third. So he drops the diss track, and honestly, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. But in it, he says, like, oh, I could go way harder, but I'm not. This is a warning shot. Oh. Uh-huh. So it's like, okay. So it was kind of light. Yeah. And then uh, about two days later, oh, I thought it said it on there. About two days later, he has a concert. It's like a Dreamville concert, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and he apologized. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry for the warning shot, guys. He's like, I was just grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what he said was, he was like, uh, all my friends and fans were like, oh, you got to kill him. You got to mm-hmm. kill him. He's like, all you guys want is blood. He's like, but it goes against my character. I haven't been able to sleep at night. I was relapsing. Oh. And uh, he was just like, he was like, I, I can't keep throwing these like, these jabs that I could throw, but I don't mean them because I love Kendrick. Yeah. He's like, oh, you guys love Kendrick? And then they start cheering, and mm-hmm. he's like, I love Kendrick. I'm honored to stand up here with Kendrick. Yeah. And then it's just like... Okay. <laughs> well, it sucks because I, I do get it. Two things. One, I, I don't want to, like, joke about if he was, like, relapsing, if it was affecting him, then that, then, yeah, like, if it's offsetting his piece, I'm cool with it. That's him. what he said. He said it was fucking with his piece. Yeah, definitely take a step back. You know, don't don't engage with something that's going to get you fucked up, right? Especially because, like, you know, we come from families with drug problems right. and things like that. Like, yeah, I'd prefer that he stepped out. Uh, so I won't make fun of that at all. Um And it is funny because in his situation, really what happened was he took an opportunity to be like, I love Kendrick on a track. He's like, me, Drake, Kendrick, we're best friends. (laughs) (laughs) He said, we're the top dogs. I know. (laughs) I said this in the last episode where I'm like, he was like, it was like. J. Cole and Drake were at a sleepover and they were like, you know, like It'd doing cool each other's if hair. Was yeah, here. Like, I wish Kendrick was here. They're like, we love Ken. He's our best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then out of nowhere, Kendrick's like, man, fuck these guys. <laughs> He's like, you think I want to sleep over with you? I'd rather have a sleep over with me. Yeah. We're like, what? That's just called sleeping. And he's like, <laughs> he's like I don't care. And we, but we're like, so what? But he did say it pretty cool, man. That yeah. bar, that's a sick bar. <laughs> okay, but like fucking. And then yeah, so then and then the internet was like, yeah, J Cole, you just gonna take that? He was like, I didn't have any beef at all. <laughs> well, so like he did what you're right about what Kendrick did. It was kind of like that, but while saying that, he did say like. But I am the best out of the three. Yes, yes. And I think that's what got it there. And then not only that, I think it was the fact that if you listen to any J. Cole song, Mm -hmm. 90% of the time, he's like, nobody could touch me. I'm the best. Mm -hmm. I dare one of y'all. Come on. Yeah. Give me the smoke. And then somebody took the dare, and he was like, well, not my friends. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And then I also think Kendrick kind of got hit because of teaming up with Drake. I think aligning with Drake Mm. is what kind of got it, because I think the real beef was Kendrick and Drake. Yeah, okay. So since then, mm-hmm. uh, you've had uh, Rick Ross diss Drake. Yeah. <laughs> <You've>, <laughs> Which, you know, okay. <laughs> you've had uh, Kendrick diss Drake. Uh, the Weeknd said something about Drake. Yeah, I heard a snippet of his like thing, and I'm like, I, I feel like The Weeknd is one of those artists that and I'm probably gonna get flamed for this. It just hasn't aged well. Yeah. I think everybody's over the the like the uh, I hate to say like whiny ass vocal, but like that's all it is. Is he's just yeah. saying words, but kind of like this. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, okay, it's like I don't know. I don't want to talk too much shit, but that's like the thing that I think I can't actually. The thing I want, I want, I can't say. It. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Well, that's like kind of like the rapper the baby. He kind of lost steam because all of his songs sound the same. He just has the same flow. It's the same yeah. voice. Yeah, and it's yeah. nuts. I've seen. I, I don't mean to keep interrupting you. It's just sometimes no, when I good. think when I know something that's like in your space, I'm like, oh, I haven't even thought about that. I've seen uh, the baby like freestyles. Great. Insane. And all of the comments, because I don't listen to his music, all the comments are like, if he just did this yeah. on a record. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, because it was nuts. Yeah. Like when he was going, I was like, holy shit. I didn't even know who, I, I didn't know what the baby even looked like. Yeah. So I was like, who the fuck's this guy? And then I'm like looking at the comments and everybody's like, yeah, if he, if the baby just did this, <laughs> he'd be good. Yeah. And I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. Actually. Yeah. It's just when he actually does songs. Wow. If that's he freestyles, really great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sway in the morning. That's yeah, funny. so then uh, some shit with J. Cole starts. Um, I guess Drake was also getting dogged by a NBA player named John Morant on Twitter. Okay. Everyone hates Drake. Yeah. <laughs> so then Drake drops a diss track. Mm-hmm. Dogging all of them. <laughs> yeah. And you showed me that. Yeah. It's actually nuts. It's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, nuts. Very well done. Very. You know what I mean? So then after that, we kind of get some silence. Besides Rick Ross, he threw another one out, but no one's paying attention to <laughs> We're him. We're like, oh, bless your heart, Rick. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That um, sucks. That really sucks. And then, hold on, let me backtrack. In yeah. the first Drake diss, um, <laughs> so Metro, the producer, is beefing with Drake, and he's been tweeting. So in Drake's, he's just like, Metro, shut up and make some drums. Because that's all he can do is really like, <laughs> he's not a rapper. Yeah, yeah. So he can't really get in there unless he's just tweeting. That's so funny. So, so he kind of just shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Metro was like, hey. Yeah, he's basically just like, Metro, do your job and shut up. I know. And can't do anything about it know, besides so tweet. And if you tweet, you look stupid. I know, I know. He yeah. makes a, he makes drums like the, the kick is like, Drake. <laughs> and the snare is... Sucks. <laughs> That's really ridiculous. all we can do. Drake sucks. Drake sucks. <laughs> That's the beat. That's uh. Well, like, damn, we fucking he got him. <laughs> yeah, good shit, Metro. <laughs> <laughs> the most elementary school thing you could do. <laughs> Get him, Metro. Get his ass, Metro. <laughs> so then, yeah. So then it's kind of radio silent. Mm-hmm. But Drake's not having radio silence oh, now. Y'all wow. started it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. So then he drops a second disc, oh, hilarious. which I haven't showed you. Okay, okay. And this one is kind of crazy. So in Drake's first one, he says, what's this, a 20 V1? Yeah. Because all y'all coming at me now. Uh-huh. So what does Drake do? <laughs> oh, no. What does he do? <laughs> he uses AI to bring back Tupac <laughs> and then has Snoop Dogg AI on there. <laughs> Whoa. And then he dogs Kendrick and all of them with AIs and himself. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> so, okay. So, Kendrick is from Cali. Yes. He's from, I think. Compton? Compton. Yeah. So, what did he do? He brought he brought the West Coast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. To basically talk down on Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. Saying, like, we need you, man. Where are you? <laughs> He's like, we we passed you the torch. What you doing? The passive aggression, too, of, like, the, Sno- the, the Snoop Dogg AI being like, I know you never have done a crime, <laughs> but, God, if you could just body him, that'd be awesome. <laughs> it's, like, crazy. Yeah, man. and it's smart, dude. It is smart. It's yeah. smart. Like, I thought it was, like, when I first heard about it, I'm like, oh, that's kind of corny. Why would right. you do that? But then I listened to it. I'm like, oh, he's, like... And I don't know if you, I don't know if you heard it, mm. but I don't know if they did that thing where Drake rapped all that, okay. and then they made the AI sound probably because like I feel like in like some of that you hear like Drake's like yeah yeah you know what I'm saying yeah yeah like yeah His, like, like cadence yes and also like in the very beginning there's like well, I, I would assume like um they would call it like artifacts like when it was the talking part where I'm like oh you can tell this is fake. And then when the music kicks in, it's harder to tell that it's fake. But I was like, oh, yeah. So that's probably what they did. They probably had Drake do it or, yeah. And he probably just did the whole thing. And then they just, you know, <laughs> paid $30. But yeah. Whatever. So, yeah, that's basically what I was talking about. Drake was kind of getting bored. He was like, what? Y'all had all this to say. I finally came back. And yeah. now it's radio silence. Oh, man. Which is nuts, dude. Yeah. yeah Drake, dude, I told you. When it comes to battle raps, uh-huh. Drake's on it. <laughs> <laughs> Drake's just like. Drake's just like, come on, come on, let's go, let's I know, go. I like, know. I really want to see who's the best. Come on. Oh, man, dude. 
That's so cool, though. That's so funny. Yeah, man. Wow, what a cool wrap up on so, that. Yeah, so that, now we just got to wait for Kendrick. And then uh, on the flip side of things, Quavo and Chris Brown are beefing now. Oh, yeah. I, I heard Chris you, Brown did a weird. I showed you some of it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, it was just like out of nowhere. He was like, okay. Well, so Quavo dog Drake, or did Quavo dog Chris. Okay. In a song called Tender. Oh. And then. Okay. Chris Brown responded and murdered him. <laughs> and then Quavo dropped some weak stuff after that. Yeah. So now I'm hoping Chris comes back. Man. It's everywhere, man. It's funny. All I saw after you showed me the, the Chris Brown thing was a post on Facebook from someone who was like, man, like they shared a post that the post said, um, everybody's like, you know, hates on Chris Brown, even though he never did anything wrong. <laughs> and it was like someone's like, are we just like forgetting when he like brutally beat the fuck out of his girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. But you know, it's crazy how that shit. Like he's just like that's it's that made zero impact like long term. You know what I mean? Super weird. I'm not saying whether it should or shouldn't. Like right. I, I'm not the fucking you know uh, prime minister on what who should be canceled or not. But I'm just surprised. That was before canceling was a thing. I guess that's a good point because like <laughs> I was like fucking. I think about like um, what's his fucking name Matt. Why am I forgetting it right now? Uh, the comedian, jawline guy Matt Rife. Yeah. Um, yeah. He just like he made a joke, and then everybody's like, "We got to cancel this motherfucker." And he's a comedian, and he made a joke, and it's like you know that it's crazy that like we have all of this beef on like or dirt on Chris Brown, and people are like, "But he did do that song with Lil Dicky." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just just crazy to me that we're because even I'm part of it. I'm like, yeah, I was like, that was a, that was a, that was a funny song. Yeah, that was a good, <laughs> like, I don't think song. twice about the fucking. It's so funny. I mean, yeah, I think it was also just so long ago. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Which it doesn't make it right. But, of course, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what Chris Brown said in his thing. He's like, dude, enough with talking about me and Rihanna. Like, there's elevator footage of you beating your girlfriends. Oh, interesting. So, wow. Yeah. Oh, because it was that like Quavo's first shot was about that. Yeah, the whole song was about. Oh, How he and here I am. That's the first. That's the only thing I brought up. So yeah. I don't. I'm not like in enough to know shit about. That's like, Chris all Brown, Quavo but, has. Is yeah, you, your girlfriends are scared to come home. And, oh, yeah. weird. And it's like you got to know, like, because that was like a funny thing to me uh, in Drake's thing. Now I don't know shit about Drake. Has Drake ever served prison time? I don't think so. Yeah, so I thought that was weird. Like when I when that line was like, I, think, I know you've never like you know been in prison, but Drake, I, I don't think Drake also like talks like. Oh, maybe that's what the diss was. Like, does Kendrick talk often about like maybe yeah. like? I mean, Drake, uh, Kendrick, and his that I showed you, he literally said out like he's like I'm taking your chains and burning tattoos. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. He, okay, he, he he's saying he's with it. Yeah, he said I'll. T- it's a good point. And then he said, you, y'all better bring three guns, because they're going to be enough. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it, it doesn't sound cool. <laughs> you guys better bring three guns, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> you? <laughs> I'm sure uh, you were only going to bring one or two guns. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> That's not <laughs> enough. <laughs> I have a grenade in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need a pocket full of grenades. <laughs> that's like, and that's so funny. It's so funny that if we say it, of course, it's like, what the fuck? But Kendrick says, like, oh, they're gonna need a pocket full of grenades. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're gonna need a pocket full of grenades. You're and coming he, at me. He he rolls them off his arm like that. <laughs> He's so nonchalant. Get him off of me. <laughs> That's what that dude said. That dude threw that grenade like he was like, get an ew. <laughs> he threw it like a, like a fly. Napkin. No, yeah. like a fly is flying past you. You're just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, it's much my breeze. I just got them last week. So if you see me in the street, just know these shorts match my briefs. I just got these on sale. I ain't paying retail. And know the style ain't stale I didn't get these in the mail My shorts match my briefs 